big baby. It's the gray area, huh? Let's talk about it. Let's have a conversation, big baby. Do you hear me? Now, check this out, right? Topic of the day is these designers, you know what I mean? What people prefer, what people care about, you understand know me, and all these different things, right? And some people would think, okay, either you support Gucci and you don't care about black people, or you don't support Gucci and you woke, you feel me? But it ain't that cut and dry, big baby, you feel me? Because it's hard, right, for the average person or somebody who's not from the life that we come from, right, to respect or accept a person telling me or telling them, hey, man, don't support Gucci no more. Man, don't fuck with Gucci. They don't fuck. They, they disrespect black people as you sipping on a cup of lean. You hear me, big baby? You feel me? Because lean don't give a fuck about black people either. You understand me? Uh, activists, they do not support the uh, the positive um, uh, aspects of, of the black community. You feel me? They have done nothing for the black community. As a matter of fact, you feel me? But for whatever reason, in all our songs and a lot of our music, a lot of our entertainment, it is the focal point. You feel me? And we think it's okay to not only share, but show our children that, you feel me, that we think it's okay to sip on some lean or drink some drink. You feel me? Or pop some pills or pop some Zans. You feel me? Or sing or rap about it. You feel me? So with that being said, who the fuck is you to tell somebody what to put on, man? What to wear, you feel me? Now, me and myself, I don't fuck with that shit. I think a lot of it is cheap. A lot of it is chimmy, you feel me? And people ain't necessarily buying the design. They're buying the uh, the print, you feel me? Trying to buy a label so they can try to buy a status, you feel me? That's why I don't fuck with it. Not because no motherfucking celebrity told me not to. Not because some fucking rapper woke up and, and, and felt like, oh, today's the day that they feel disrespected because we've been getting disrespected by these Brands. They have never liked us buying their clothes. They could care less. And if you if you really want to know, I really think that they don't care about us wearing their shit. They don't, you understand me? If they think of us as apes and monkeys and different things, who the fuck would want the, a monkey in their t-shirt? You feel me? Because that's what they think of us as. You dig? So, you know, that's that's just part of it. And then, listen, man, everybody ain't woke. Everybody ain't trying to say the black community and everybody don't want to be Malcolm and Martin. You feel me? Some people just want to wake up, live, and look fresh, man. And you can't blame them for wanting what, what, what they want. You feel me? But we put so much pressure on people. You feel me? We try to uh, uh, ostracize people and, and, and set them aside that everybody going to jump in that boat because they don't want to be the ones that have to stand up and speak for themselves. You feel me? So it'd be like... Uh, uh, Oh man, what? Gucci? They did what? Oh, here I come. Let me repost this shit. Oh, get up out of here, man. You a follower. You just doing it because because the entertainer's doing it. You feel me? You gotta have. You ain't even did no research on what exactly they're protesting. You just know that somebody black that you like their music or you like what they do for a living. They said something and you feel like fuck it. That's the popular thing, so you gonna do it too. Don't do it because no celebrity told you to, big baby. Do it because you want to. Do it because you don't think that it's good for our community. Do it because you think that anybody who disrespects us as a people don't deserve our dollars. You feel me? Do it because of that. Or do it because you think the shit is ugly. Or whatever the case may be. Because it's too expensive, too high end, whatever. But don't do it because of what everybody else is doing, man. It's just like the R. Kelly shit. People been knowing this, man. Been messing around with kids and, 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 and flirting with kids on the brink of being adults or not adults for the last 20-something years, man. And everybody chose to overlook it. Chose to ignore it. Chose to act like they didn't trip. They just want the music. Well... You can't ignore something for 25 years and then one day wake up and, and decide, okay, now I'm going to address this. Because now the shit that snowballed it and got so big, it's past being addressed. You feel me? There's too much pain involved in it. Too much struggle. Too much stress. You feel me? So now you want to address it because the crowd is addressing it? Man, listen, man. Um, I like to speak for myself, man. And I know that it's always two sides to every story, you feel me? And everybody don't have the same insight or the same viewpoint. So you can't put the same pressure on everybody that you put on the next person, you feel me? Listen, you want to wear Gucci? I don't give a damn. I ain't going to think no less of you. I'm not going to be uh, mad at you. I'm not going to stop uh, hanging out with you because you want to wear Gucci. That's your business, you feel me? You can continue to do as you see fit. I will respect you more if you didn't, if you wore it because everybody didn't because you had your own mind, not because you think uh, that's what everybody should be doing because they black or whatever like that, nah, hell no, man, do you, stay true to yourself, whatever that means, you feel me, don't be fake woke, 
Don't fake care about the black community because everybody else is, and you don't want to hear what people are going to say to you if you don't show the same interest in the black community as they do. Because just because you don't protest some shit like that don't mean you don't care about the black community. It don't mean that you ain't woke, and it don't mean that you ain't contribute on some form, some shape, form, or fashion. People think that if you're not advocating like them, then you're not advocating at all. You understand me? Just because you ain't putting some shit up on your Instagram or your social media don't mean that you ain't somewhere sitting down with young black men and women, women and giving them some insight about life, giving them some resources to go look up, to go get information that they need to make their own decisions. You feel me? It don't mean that. It don't mean that you ain't having one-on-ones with people because you don't have a non-profit organization. Every young person, or, uh, young man and woman that comes to you and asks for advice, if you get them good advice, you feel me? You point them in the right direction, try to keep them out of trouble. You doing the same work that the person over at the damn boys and girls club is doing you feel me just a different scale a different level so don't let nobody try to contradict or uh, uh, uh minimize what you do for your community or for your people because you don't do it the same way they do it you feel me and a lot of these folks just doing this shit for recognition anyway being woke is cool that's the new cool you feel me so a lot of people participating in it for that reason because you get pats on the back Because you might fuck around and get a check Because somebody might come around and throw you something You feel me? If they think you're doing something good You feel me? So people sign up for certain shit You feel me? Just because monetary value Not necessarily to change the community Or make shit better You feel me? And this post is not saying that You That 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 what Gucci did is right Or these clothing lines and all that shit This post is about the gray area About the parts that people don't mention In their conversations or arguments You feel me The fact that a lot of people just say shit Just because they going with the masses The fact that a lot of people you know what I'm saying? It's some people that like the fucking Gucci scheme ass. The one with the lips and shit. It's some motherfuckers who scared to go get it because they know that they black cousins, aunties, and them going to talk crazy about them if they come in the house with the shit on. So they like, oh, man, that shit kind of, I like how it look, though. You feel me? Even if even if they don't know the history of it, you feel me? They might like how it look. They might like how it come off. But now they scared to go get it because they scared of being um, put on the spot. You feel me? Scared of being questions about their blackness and different shit like that. And you shouldn't feel like that. You should be able to wear what the fuck you want to wear when you want to wear it. You understand what I'm saying, big baby? And, yeah, for the most part, that's about it, man. It's the gray area, you feel me? We just chop game here, you feel me? I am not on no side of the fence. I ain't picking and choosing nothing. All I'm saying is this is a, a conversation that people uh, need to have, you feel me? Or people need to be aware of. It ain't just one thing or just one way, man. It's much more to it, you feel me? It's much more intricate. It's many more details that go into this conversation that can uh, make a person think, basically, you feel me? So all I'm saying is, man, don't go follow on after nobody. Make your own decisions. Be your own person. And whatever it is, do what's best for you. Do what makes you feel good. Not everybody else, because you got to live this life. You got to deal with it. You got to go through it. You understand what I'm talking about, big baby? Care you forever. This is the Gray Area Podcast. We just chop game, talk about different things, you feel me? And, 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 and learn and get better along the way, man. Care.